What's up, Alphas? I have some super exciting news from the E-Rank side of things. So for those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore. I have been an Etsy seller for over nine years selling handmade jewelry. I am also an Etsy coach and I have been for four years. And as of February 1st, I started working for E-Rank as their head of PR and marketing. For those of you who are unfamiliar, E-Rank has been my favorite SEO tool for over for years now. It is the number one tool that I recommend to sellers and I've been recommending it far before I started working for E-Rank, but I do have to throw out that disclaimer that I do work for them now. However, I do not get commission based on videos. YouTube makes us throw out those disclaimers. But anyway, let's talk about this brand new tool. This is going to revolutionize the way that we do keyword research and it just launched. So this is huge guys. If you're an E-Rank Pro member, this should be on your E-Rank account now. If it's not, feel free to let me know. We can make sure that you get it. But let's go ahead and share my screen. I'll just I'll just jump right in. All right guys, so this is our E-Rank dashboard. Hopefully yours looks somewhat the same. And the new tool that we're talking about is keyword list. So let's go ahead and click into that right here. Now, the way that this used to work when we did our keyword research was we had to go in every time we wanted to check the number of searches that a listing received or a, a keyword received on Etsy and we had to search it. And as the months go by, trends tend to change, right? Thankfully, E-Rank updates their information so we can stay on top of how these trends change and how people are searching for listings but we would have to manually go in and look at our keywords and make sure that some of the tags and titles that we've used on our listings in the past have the same good results that we saw when we first added them to our tags and titles. And it was just a constant hassle. It's, you know, the bane of my existence is going and checking all of these tags and titles over and over. So Anthony Wolf at E-Rank helped to build this amazing new tool called Keyword Lists, where now you can build a list of the keywords that you use the most frequently or keywords that you wanna keep an eye on and then you can just look at your list and it will automatically update when new searches uh, for the month or new trends are integrated in the E-Rank. So basically, if a search trend changes, you will get to see it within your keyword list. You can track your keywords and save them so you don't have to research them one by one. This is huge. So let's go ahead and dive in and create a list so you guys can see what this is like, okay? So this is my keyword list screen and I would like to create a new list. You can name your list. I'm going to call this my summer keywords. You can call it whatever you want. Let's go ahead and add that there. Now we see summer keywords. Now, obviously I don't have any keywords in here, so we need to find ourselves some. Assuming that you are a pro member, we need to go into tools and we're gonna go ahead and hop into the keyword explorer and let's type in a random word. Let's say, for example, maybe summer, jewelry. How about that? All right. Now we see our results for summer jewelry. And look here, we see our keyword list right there. And the more keywords that we add or the more lists we add, they will pop up in this drop down menu. So let's go ahead and pop down into our results. Let's see summer jewelry. Ooh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and say that we want to follow this term. Mm, these aren't these aren't great. So we'll just track summer jewelry and it looks like it is popular in June. That's when people are searching for summer jewelry. Let's try something else, All right? Let's pivot a little bit. Let's try flower necklace instead of just summer jewelry. Let's scroll down. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's some ones that I might want to track. Okay. So pressed flower necklace. We'll go ahead and star this one. Uh, maybe let's see. Let's try yellow flower necklace. Let's try flower girl necklace. I think that these are gonna be our winners. So let's go ahead and pop this open. And look, we can see pressed flower necklace, yellow flower necklace, flower girl necklace, and summer jewelry right on our keyword list. So let's go ahead and look at our lists, okay? Let's go into view list. And here are the keywords. So every time 
that you add a new keyword to this list, all you have to do is pop in to your keyword list and see what those searches are. You no longer have to go in and manually search those keywords because they will be collected into your keyword lists. Not only that, but we also have an option to flag these or color code them. Now the theory here was that a lot of users, when we tracked with pen and paper, what we tended to do was use highlighters and we would color all of our, our keywords. And I remember those days where I would just write down all of my keywords in their search volumes and I would try to organize them the best I could on paper. And it was just a huge mess. So what Anthony has done is he's created a flagging system where you can add different color codes to these keywords. And these are just whatever you want them to be. You could say, okay, all of the keywords that I'm using in my listing are going to be green. And maybe the ones that I'm testing are gonna be yellow. And maybe the ones that I know aren't probably gonna do well, but I just wanna see, I just wanna check them out and keep an eye on them, we'll do those in red. So you can color code these however you want them. The flagging system is 100% up to you. Not only that, but you have the option to add notes. So you could say, uh, used in my red flower listing. And you can save that note directly into your keyword. So you can add whatever you want. You can put that you have it in one of your listings. You could put a note that you plan to use it in your upcoming collection, whatever it is that you wanna to add to this, okay? Last thing I wanna point out is the listing builder. So as you're building your listing titles, sometimes it can be a pain in the butt to go back from E-Rank and you know, copy and paste and copy and paste back and forth, back and forth. Now we have the option to click add and it will appear right here in your listing builder. So we'll go ahead and add all of these. And then all you have to do is copy right here. And then when you go to Etsy, all you need to do is paste them directly into your Etsy tags. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so I'm down in the tag section of my Etsy listing. So I'm just gonna right click and paste and enter. And there are all of the tags. No more copying and pasting them one by one. We can just copy the entire string of tags and put them directly into our tag section. For your keyword lists themselves, you also have the option to add a quick description. That way, if you have a lot of lists, you don't lose track of what they're all for. So I've got an upcoming collection. Maybe I'm making all summer themed products and I might say keywords for upcoming collection. That way I don't forget what I'm using them for. And then I just save and there we go. And we can go in and edit that anytime. Now, if I want to go to my overall list page, all I need to do is click this little tab up here labeled keyword lists. We see my summer keywords. Maybe I want to create a new one. Maybe I could do fall keywords. We'll go ahead and add another list. Success fall keywords successfully created, and then we can start adding items into our fall keywords. We also have the option to add flags right here for our keyword lists themselves. If you wanna color coordinate those any way that you want, then we can pop back into our keyword explorer. And maybe for fall keywords, since opal is October's birthstone, we could try opal necklace. Go ahead and pop that in. Opal's one of October's birthstones. They have two, they have opal and rose. All right, we've got our results up. Ooh, so exciting. All right, lots of results here. Maybe, oh, make sure that we switch back from summer keywords to fall keywords. Go ahead and close this out. Now we see fall keywords is our default list. Let's go ahead and add in opal necklace. That might be one I wanna keep track of. Uh, maybe fire opal necklace, mm, genuine opal necklace. We'll track that one. And let's do, let's keep an eye on raw opal necklace. We'll track that one as well. So now we see that we're tracking four fall keywords. And maybe we decide, eh, you know what? I don't want to track fire opal necklace anymore. I, it's, I'm not making fire opal products. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of that one. You can easily do that as well. Or you can just unstar it from your list and you can actually see it pop up and disappear. Now let's go ahead and view our list. So we'll click here. And here are our keywords. So maybe we could say, hmm, I think that these are the ones I'm gonna to add to my listing. 
and maybe this one this one isn't quite a long tail keyword so we'll this one still looks good but we'll just we'll put it into light green and maybe keep an eye on it and raw opal necklace uh you know maybe we're so so about this one so maybe we'll flag this one as purple we're just keeping an eye on it these are just examples of how i might personally use my list all right let's go into our keyword lists and now we have two lists fall keywords we have four keywords being tracked. We also have our summer keywords with four keywords being tracked. This was just a quick example of how I personally plan to use my own keyword list. However, there are a million ways that you can customize your list. You could color coordinate them however you want. You could make tons of lists just based on all different ideas that you have. And this is how I personally plan to use them, kind of categorizing by collection. But there's a million ways that you can use them for your own product. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I also want to give a shout out to my good friend, Pam Duthie. She is also a huge Etsy YouTuber and she's a part of the E-Rank team. She's going to be creating a similar video teaching you guys how she plans to use keyword lists as well. So that will be linked down in the description. Make sure that if you're still curious about keyword lists and you would like to see more ways to use them, check out her video, subscribe to her channel and say, Hey, I'm an alpha. Let her know that Starla sent you. And in the meantime, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my own channel. If you're new here, and if you have any questions about keyword lists, feel free to post those down in the comments. And I might create some more videos for you on this new tool until next time guys. Bye-bye.